Welcome everyone to the Sports 2.0 Network. Happy Friday. I'm Spencer Davis here with another betting preview. Uh, I'm going to talk some UFC today. We're going to look at UFC 272 this weekend. Uh, we're going to look at the main card. We have five fights to look at and let's get started. Um, to start off, we have Greg Hardy and Sergey Spivak fighting. Uh, Spivak is 13 and three. Hardy is seven and four. Um, just right off the bat, I don't like Greg Hardy. I don't like him as a person or a fighter. Uh, I don't think he's skilled. I think he relies on his athleticism and his size to win him fights. Um, he's had issues with uh, the law. He was accused and settled out of court with his ex-girlfriend for abusing her. So we just do not support Greg Hardy, uh, at least over here. Um Realistically, though, as far as the fight goes, I see Spivak wrestling him. Uh, Spivak's a little smaller, but a more skilled wrestler, and I expect him to win the fight by decision, most likely. Um, we're looking at Spivak at minus 190 as our bet on this fight. Uh, next, we have Kevin Holland, who was 5-0 in 2020 before going 0-2-1 in 2021. He makes his 2022 debut against Alex Cowboy Oliveira. Um, Guy that's been fighting for a long time in the UFC. He has seven kids, so he has lots of motivation to make that extra win money. Um, I like Holland in this fight, but the line is ridiculous. It's like Holland minus 340. There's not much value there. You can parlay him if you want. I like fight to start round three. Um, Oliver is good, but I don't think he'll get finished in the first two rounds. So I like fight to start round three at minus 110. Uh, next, we have Edson Barbosa and Bryce Mitchell. Uh, this is a really fun one. Bryce Mitchell is a great grappler. He hasn't lost in the UFC. He is. He's he's a funny guy. He um, talks a lot about growing up in Arkansas, and he he trains by lifting wood over his head and. He's interesting, uh, but Barbosa is a legend. He he strikes like almost nobody else uh, at 145 or 155. Um, he's just so quick and so skilled. I just don't know if I see Mitchell being able to hold him down on the ground. Um, so we're going to take Barbosa by decision at plus 350. Uh, I like the value there. Uh, Second to last fight, co-main event, we have uh, Rafael Dos Anjos against Hanato Mokano. Uh, Dos Anjos, or, or people call him RDA. Uh, RDA was supposed to fight Rafael Faziv this weekend. Um, Faziv came down with COVID this past week, so Mokano is stepping in on short notice after defeating Alex Hernandez by submission just a few weeks ago. Um, everyone likes RDA. I have a lot of respect for him. He's a great fighter, but... Moicano's taller, he's longer, and I think he's more technical. I think Moicano is going to piece him up on the feet, and I think he gets the ground and Moicano finishes him, um, maybe inside two rounds. I know that's not a super popular pick, but um, I have confidence in him. I'm taking Moicano by sub plus 500. I love, love, love the value on that submission line right there. And finally, we have what everyone's been waiting for, Colby Covington versus Jorge Masvidal. Uh, these two guys were teammates back at American Top Team in Miami. Now they're fighting at a separate camp still in Southern Florida. Um, Colby's an insane wrestler, tons of pressure, tons of energy, tons of punches, um, lots of softer punches for volume more than uh, heavy power punches, but he just brings the heat and does not uh, give up at any point. Uh, Masvidal's fought 50 times in mixed martial arts. Uh, he's fought Wonder Boy, Donald Cerrone, Darren Till. Uh, he's fought in multiple weight classes, um, arguably a legend of the sport. Um, I, I think I think Colby wins a, a boring fight, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not a huge Colby fan, but he's good, man. Uh, both these guys are 3-2 and two in their last five fights. All four losses have come to Kamaru Usman. Um, these guys are fighting for second place. No disrespect to them. I could never do what they do, but um, Usman's just built different, man. Um, I expect Colby to make it look easy, but Masvidal says he's going to make it look easy. Masvidal says he's going to stop the takedowns and uh, piece up Colby on the feet. So 
we'll see. I like Colby by decision. Uh, that's my best bet of this fight. I'm not taking it personally, but um, yeah, it's a, uh, we're gonna have a good card come Saturday night and uh, thanks for tuning in. This was brought to you by the sports 2.0 network. I will see you next week.